So the training site is canceled. So the October 18th Trinity open house date, that's dead. Now, the reason for that is probably because of the government shutdown, even though I thought the military was still being paid through the shutdown. So if you happen to have had plans to go to the Trinity site and you don't want to cancel your flight and still want to check out the great state of New Mexico, there are things to do that are nuclear related, radiation related there in the area. So I'd imagine that most of you are going to be flying into Albuquerque and renting a car and driving around there. And so there are places to check out in Albuquerque. There is the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. Now that is a great museum and they have a bunch of stuff there. They have a, a bunch of mock-ups of atomic weapons that have been uh, built over the years. They have the, like the atomic cannon. They have a mock-up of the Trinity Tower that was used in the Trinity site test. They also have a bunch of uh, radioactive consumer goods. So if you bring a Geiger counter there, you can see that kind of freak out a little bit. And then they also have a uranium cube that was there that was actually recovered from occupied Germany after the Allies came in there and found out that they actually were trying to develop uh, nuclear technology there in Germany. So these are this is like one of the cubes that they recovered that's actually made of uranium metal. And so you can explore that museum. It's awesome. It's actually one of the, my favorite museums that is very focused in on one subject. And that one subject is nuclear science, history, and basically like all the different jets and bombers that all carried uh, atomic munitions uh, throughout the Cold War. And they have them there on site. So it's actually a really cool place to check out. But if you want to go a little bit further north from Albuquerque, uh, kind of by Santa Fe, you can go up to Los Alamos. Now, Los Alamos is where the original Manhattan Project took shape and where they developed the atomic bomb. And so that place has a lot of history. They actually have a historic district where you can go to uh, the old meeting houses, which is actually what was used in the Oppenheimer film, and some of the houses that were used to house some of the top scientists there. The Oppenheimer house is there, but I think someone lives in it, so... I don't think you'll be able to go into it, but it's still a really cool place to check out. That should still be open, even though it's technically considered a national park, uh, but it's all like open air or, you know, there's no fences or anything like that. So you can just kind of check it out. They might not have all the houses open, but you can still kind of walk around there. So the Bradbury Museum is also there in Los Alamos. Now this is a, a museum that's very similar to the one in Albuquerque. It's just not as extensive. And it actually focuses more on missions that the national lab there at Los Alamos does in the area. And so that's more what that museum is focused. That museum is free. The one in Albuquerque does require a fee to get into, but it's totally worth it. There are also cliff dwellings there in Los Alamos area. I believe it's um, Bandelier National Monument or National Park. But again, it's a national park. So during the shutdown, that also might be shut down too. But I really enjoy going to the Trinity site, but it's also, uh, if it's closed and you don't have any other options, that museum and the Bradbury Museum in Los Alamos and the Los Alamos area is really cool to explore. And so hopefully this gives you an idea of like different things to check out if you're in the area. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it useful to kind of plan your trip with this cancellation. And hopefully in the future, they will actually go and uh, reschedule it for the April date that they used to do. And maybe they'll go back to doing uh, twice a year because that was actually really good. I would always personally go in April because I like springtime in the desert. It's a little more predictable, kind of. It's a, it can be cold, hot, whatever, but I, I really like springtime in the desert. And so hopefully they'll open that, um, that April date back up for the Trinity open house since they canceled this date. Um, kind of weird that they're that they're counseling it even though they're still getting paid i i kind of believe that the base commanders there at the site they really don't like having the trinity open house i mean you're having a bunch of civilians coming on to an army base that's a pretty secure area and uh, it takes a lot of resources and a lot of extra manpower to have the troops there 
to look after the public when they're there on site and make sure they don't go anywhere they're not supposed to. So I can kind of understand whether they're like, like finding any excuse to close it down, but whatever. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Take it easy.